What is up everybody? I'm Mr. Wagon Wheel 66 and you're probably saying who the fuck is this guy? Well guys, basically I'm Mr. Wagon Wheel 66 and I'm doing a post for post with this channel. So basically, if you don't know what a post for post is, it's when the person uploads to my channel to gain subscribers and views and all my subscribers go to his channel and subscribe and like his videos and all that stuff. So now I'm uploading to his channel so he can like all you guys will come over to my channel hopefully and uh, subscribe and see what you like uh, like what you see and all that stuff. So yeah, I'm doing a post for post, and uh, basically first I get into what I do on my channel, and then I get into the gameplay and my commentary topic. So oh, I just I had a squeak there, <laughs> but hey, uh, get over that now. Uh, basically on my channel, if you come over and see, you'll see high scoring gameplays, Black Ops 2 commentaries, and uh, I have a lot of series coming up. I'm making a gun sync right now as well, and uh, I have the greatest Call of Duty players series coming out, and Subscriber Tuesdays, and I have casual commentaries as well with funny stories, and I'm bringing back Hate Mail Monday. Because uh, basically that feedback was great. But uh, yeah, come over and check out my channel if you like this commentary. And just check it out anyway to see if you like my other videos. To see if they're better than this one. So go subscribe to my channel. Link is in the description. And uh, I'll get into the gameplay now. The gameplay is a 105 kill round with the MP7 on the map Meltdown. Using the Kazrik's Escort Drone, Dogs and Swarm. And uh, I think I was going 97 and 0 at one point. And then I died because I had to... Re uh, Reload when I sh you shot the no, I threw C4 when I had none, and then a shotgun came over the M1216 and came over and killed me. That was pretty annoying, but uh, still 105 kills in one round. It's not that bad, and uh, yeah, sit back, enjoy the game gameplay while I talk about the topic. So basically, guys, the topic is the time I got stung in the balls by a jellyfish, and you're probably saying, "Ouch, that is fucking sore." Well, yeah, guys, basically. Two, uh, last year I went to Spain on my holidays with my mom, my brother and my best friend's family. We stayed in his villa in Spain in Alicante which is in the south of Spain. It's a very nice place and uh, there's tons of stuff to do there. But one day we were bored so our parents said let's go to the beach. So we just packed up the picnic, got all our togs and all that stuff and all the towels. And uh, we ordered taxis to collect us from our villa to the beach. So that took about five minutes and then we got there. We, we were walking around looking for a good spot to set up and everything so we just threw down a picnic and I ate a roll before like a ham roll before I went in but that doesn't even matter so basically me and my f best friend we ran out into the water and we swam for like about 15 meters out which sa doesn't sound that like long but it was further than anybody else that was uh, out there so we were just we weren't able to stand so we were out of our depth so we were like paddling our legs and our arms in a circle rotation and then all of a sudden a jellyfish came up under me while we were talking about football now so just imagine this me and my friend were talking about football so just floating around the sea didn't think anybody anything was going to come near us and then right under me a jellyfish came up and stung me in the balls and i just screamed i was like fuck shit ow why did you do that why did you do that and i said why did you do that to my friend because uh, i thought he kicked me in the balls or pinched my balls or something and then uh, he said, what? What did I do? And I said, ah, and then I tried to swim back and I went under the water. So he just came over, swam over, and he did lifeguard lessons before. So he knew how to, like, rescue me and all that stuff. So he came over, picked me up, and paddled out to, or he swam back into this, um, the beach. And I was like, ah, wow, wow, shit. I think I got stung by a jellyfish. I think I got stung by a jellyfish. So then I, like, limped over to my mom and I was like, fuck, fuck. I got stung in the balls by a jellyfish. And you know, But I said that quite quietly because obviously you don't want the whole beach to know. And uh, she said, oh shit, um, come on, go change, go change, we have to go. And uh, then she had to look to see if there was anything wrong. And uh, it was quite awkward, but there was, uh, my just balls, my ball sack was completely shriveled up and red. It was so sore. She said, okay, go into the bathroom and uh, get dressed. So I ran over into those little cubicle bathroom things. It's like a big square that like you do, well, I don't know what you do, you just do your shits in there. But uh I ran in there and I was taking off my uh, clothes and shit and then I turned around and I hit my balls off the sink and it was a freezing cold sink so uh, imagine that my balls are roasting hot and really sore and I hit it off a really cold p piece of metal they st stang and I, mad I just screamed out so imagine other people were sitting outside and waiting for the toilets and then they just hear a massive scream and uh, then basically I just got dressed and we had to run out to the doctors and the doctors had told us that to put on ice on it and all that stuff and we were like, well, we just pay 50 euro for you to tell us to put on ice. And he actually did nothing else. But uh, yeah, guys, that's basically it. That's how I got stung in the balls by a jellyfish. And uh, the gameplay is wrapping up now. And so is my commentary. So come over to my channel if you like this video. Uh, subscribe to me also. And give give this video a like as well. So uh, yeah, I'm going out. See ya.
Let me see you put them up. Reach the sky, touch the stars up above. Cause it's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog. You got the world on your team. Even if that ain't what it seems. It's one time for the underdog. One time for the underdog.